Now on to the action items of how to actively listen empathically. First, you want to reflect what the speaker feels. And second, reflect what the speaker says. The third piece of this is for you as the listener to reflect what the speaker says and feels in your own words. This shows the speaker that you as the listener are truly trying to understand what they're saying. The first two steps may feel awkward, may be oversimplified, but learning to listen this way is like learning to play the piano. You don't immediately start playing concertos. First, you learn the scales, and then you practice them over and over. Remember to reflect back to statements, not questions. Be aware of the inflection of your voice. There's some helpful tools for doing this. Making sure to say things like, you feel, about, ensures that you have heard the, both the emotion and the subject. If that feels awkward, you can say, so what I hear you saying is, or so make, let me make sure that I understand this correctly. Don't ever underestimate the profound impact empathic listening can have on you and others. It is the single most important communication skill you can ever learn. Initially, empathic listening may feel awkward and counterintuitive because we are so conditioned to first want to be understood. But be patient and you'll soon get the hang of it. Remember, all of us have been trained in how to speak how to read, and how to think. But very few of us have ever been trained in on how to listen. This habit is something you can practice right now. The next time you communicate with anyone, you can put aside your own autobiography and genuinely seek to understand. Even when people don't want to open up about their problems, you can be empathetic. When we really deeply understand each other, we trust each other more and open the door to creative solutions. Our differences are no longer stumbling blocks to communication and progress.